Hello biologist, we're going to review for quiz 2.03 and 2.05. We're talking about organic chemistry this week, but before we can talk about organic chemistry, we just have to review some regular chemistry. We're going to talk about the nature of matter. Matter is anything that has mass and takes up spa space. You are made of matter. Matter is made up of what? If you remember some of your science from earlier in 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th grade, you remember that matter is made up of atoms. Here's a cute picture of an atom. Not terribly accurate, but easy to remember. Atoms are made of three smaller particles. You can see them here. They have a positive charge, a neutral charge, and a negative charge. Can you remember? You're right. The positive charge is protons. They're in the nucleus. The neutral charge is neutrons. They're also in the nucleus. And the negative charge is the electrons, which orbit outside the nucleus. The atomic number is the number of protons. It can be seen here for every element at the top of the periodic table box that that element is in. Remember, an element is all the same kind of atom. So for instance, right here, hydrogen is an element, and that all the atoms in hydrogen, if you have the pure element, are exactly the same kind of atoms. They would all have one proton. Because of the atomic number, the protons give the atom its personality. So protons give the atom its personality. You know what element it is by how many protons. For instance, my favorite element, which is boron, has five protons. My name, starts, my name is Beth, and Beth happens to start with B. So boron is my favorite element. Chemical bonding. Electrons interact when atoms bond. So when atoms share or exchange electrons, they bond. Chemical bonding is important because it's how you make molecules. Molecules are several atoms to stick together. But what's really important when you're talking about bonding is to look at the electrons. Here in this covalent bond, the electrons are shared. Here in this ionic bond, the electrons are taken or given, depending on your perspective. We'll talk a little bit more about the different kinds of bonds. Ionic bonds do not share valence electrons. One atom in the bond gives up an electron to the other atom. Here, you can see that happening. This kind of bond is most common in atoms that are missing one or two valence electrons or have one or two extra valence electrons. You can think of ionic ionic bond. He prefers his electrons taken, not shared. You can see the electron that's taken, not shared, right here between two atoms. Covalent bonds share. They're the nicer bonds. They learned in kindergarten that you should share. Covalent bonds are also important to biology because it's why our skin doesn't dissolve in water. You like covalent bonds because they're why you don't dissolve when you jump in. Most organic molecules form covalent bonds. They're the strongest type of bonds, and electrons, you can see right here, are shared equally. This bond is between hydrogen and hydrogen. Hydrogen bonds are something different. They're not really sharing or taking electrons, they have to do with polarity. Most often hydrogen bonds are illustrated in water and they're important in water because they give water its ability to stick together and make droplets, that's called cohesion. You've probably seen water beat up on things. And it also makes water stick to other stuff. When you add the other stuff it's called adhesion. That's a couple properties of water that we'll 
continue to talk about as we talk about biology and water. Here's a covalent bond here between hydrogen and carbon. This is methane and you can see the electrons here shown in blue and red. It's really important when you show any bond that you're focusing on the electrons. Obviously these have a nucleus with protons and neutrons, but it's not shown here because bonding is really about electrons. So let's switch to organic chemistry. This has to do with quiz 2.05. What can carbon do? Well, carbon can do a whole lot. It makes very complex biological molecules. You are made out of very complex biological molecules, so carbon the chemistry of carbon called organic chemistry is very important to you and your health. Carbon is so important and so crucial to biochemistry and organic chemistry because it has four valence electrons. You can see here's the nucleus and here are four electrons. Remember electrons are really important when we're talking about bonding. This carbon atom has four electrons, so it can make four covalent bonds. Remember, those covalent bonds are really strong bonds, and they're very important to biology because you can make big molecules with strong bonds, and you have lots of places to attach things. Carbon is crucial to organic chemistry because if it doesn't have carbon, it's not organic chemistry. Carbon is great too because it makes four bonds. Here's a really simple carbon molecule. This is methane, natural gas. It's making four covalent bonds with hydrogen. Here are the four hydrogen atoms. So carbon's important because it can make four bonds and it makes strong covalent bonds. So you can make big complicated molecules with strong bonds. Glucose is important a carbohydrate. It's an example of how carbon can make four bonds and make strong covalent bonds. Glucose is fundamental to plants and animals It's because it's how we store energy and then how we utilize the glucose and make ATP. Here's another important form of carbon. This is an amino acid and amino acids all stick together to make proteins. And hopefully from health class you remember that protein is what, a lot of what makes up your muscles. So this stuff, this amino acid glycine, is in your muscles. And you can see carbon in here again making four strong covalent bonds. Here this is nitrogen, hydrogen of course, and oxygen. Carbon also makes important bonds to, in lipids. Lipids are an important kind of biological molecule that include fats, oils, and waxes. Cholesterol gets a bad rap, but it is important in your body for making cell membranes. Every cell in your body has cholesterol in the membrane. That is all. Thanks so much for coming. Now go take quiz 2.03 and 2.05. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.